Who wants some feedback how to actually cold approach, like step by step? Do you guys feel like you need that still? Actual approach. Now, bad from behind. Please never approach from behind. Bad because from the back. We never want to approach from the back. Creepy, make some So you just walk fast, boom, and be in front yeah. of them. You get around, and then as you get in front of them, you can turn around and smile. Mm. But from the back, nobody wants to be approached from the back. Oh, Especially fine. young ladies, you know, it's like, it's super weird. Uh -huh. And you're just being lazy that way uh -huh. by not putting in the extra energy. Uh -huh. And that's also a problem. So if the girl is here, look at her the whole time. Never start talking when you're still behind her. Excuse me, hi, sorry. Hello, hi. You walked past me yes. and I was thinking, very beautiful girl. Thank you. you. Kind of have an elegant, chill vibe about you. Very important, because she's instantly going to associate you with a beggar, a needy guy, somebody who needs something, not gives something bad, okay? Looks weak. Don't touch. Threatening, unnecessary. If you can't do it with your eyes and your voice and your smile, and you revert to touching, shows you just don't have it, right? You, you as a man should, with your presence, should be strong enough to stop a woman and get her attention. If you need to touch her, bad sign for her. Don't be too serious or nervous. Of course, we're all nervous, but maybe don't show it too much. If you have a strong body language, which you can fake, right? You can be nervous, but stand like that, and you smile. You can be nervous and smile. That covers up a lot of your nervousness and seriousness. Uh, following her. So that means you can walk with a woman, but you need to be on her line or a little bit in front of her. So now we're getting into technical things because like all of you guys in the room done cold approach, but you're not getting the success. And there's some shifts. That's why we do coaching, you know. By the way, if anybody wants to do coaching in the next two days, we're available. We're in Munich for two more days. But that's why we do coaching because we can see these little changes and out of the, the database me and Liam have in our brain of like tens of thousands of approaches that we have done and observed, we know, well, when a guy follows a girl even 10 centimeters behind her, the chance she's gonna just get really awkward and walk away is very high. We can fix that. Sometimes you don't notice this stuff. What is good, yes? What did you mean by weak? Weak, okay, yeah, good question. So weak can mean um, she comes, oh shit, uh, she walks this way and I'm like, excuse me, right? That's weak. Where it's like, hey, sorry, stop, strong. So not meaning it. Weak can mean I don't actually mean it. You don't mean it. Your intention walking up to a woman should be she's gonna stop or I'm gonna talk to her or this is happening, right? You have to say that to yourself. I see the girl, this is happening. Hey, she's gonna stop. Hey, excuse me, because that's gonna make it happen. It's that positive self-talk that's gonna manifest in reality. You dictate your reality through your mind. If I'm like, she's hot, maybe she stopped, maybe not, I'm not sure, hey, excuse me. You know, I'm exaggerating now, but she can see these little changes. Does she want to talk to a guy who's not really convinced that he wants to talk to her? <coughs> yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Exactly. Like, you're not doing her a favor by being weak or rephrased. You have to be strong to make her even interested in you. She's not interested in a weak man. Coming in weak, swipe left. Uh, good, friendly, open energy, right? Sure, we're seducers, we're ladies' men, we wanna be sexy, we wanna be grounded and strong. But in the first few seconds, we need to be friendly and open. We have to have a strong voice, which doesn't mean we have to scream, but it means we have to say things and move the voice down. Hey, you look beautiful. Excuse me, I noticed you, I like your style. Hey, how was your day? Versus, uh, you look nice. 
what's your name? I think you have good style. Because how does it sound when I say it like that? Like a question. And what does that say? Insecurity. Insecurity. That I don't mean it. If I say you're beautiful, it's like, can I say that? I'm not sure. Do you, is it okay if I tell you you're beautiful? Because only if it's okay, right? And does she want to date a guy like that? No. So even that little voice, that, that ending of the, the tone tells her what kind of guy you are. Are you the kind of guy who says shit, how he means it, right? I, who was that? I say things that I mean, or whatever it was, right? Or is it a guy who is not, and she wants to date the first one? Uh, make yourself visible. So be open, show your hands, stay up strong, stand like this, not like that, not like this. Show yourself. Same thing, it's a micro-communication of, I'm proud, I like that people look at me, I have something to give, I'm sharing, I'm open, I'm vulnerable as well, right? I'm not hiding, I'm not protecting myself, I'm ready to be smashed, and it's okay. Hey, you want to smash my ego? It's fine, I got it, I'm here for it, punch me, it's okay. Respect her space, so that's a little micro-conversation going on. You stop the girl, maybe the first thing she does, and again, we can only observe these things when we're very present in the moment, maybe she takes a little step back. And then what some guys do is they take a step forward into her space, and then she takes another small step back, and then they just do another step forward. And then what does that mean? She's like, I would prefer this distance, and he's like, I don't hear you. And she's like, no, no, I want to have a little more distance of you, and he says, no, I, I'm not listening at all what you're saying, non-verbally. It's a non-verbal communication. And then what does that tell you, her about you? That you are not present, you don't give a fuck what she actually means. You're not listening, you're not observing, you're not stable, you're not, yeah, you're just not uh, calibrated. You're not calibrated. And you maybe don't have experience with women. Because if you had, you would read her signals. Does she want a man? who has very little experience with women? Yes or no? no. <laughs> right? Women always complain, I don't want to date a fuckboy, da da da, but they do want to date a fuckboy because he has experience in a positive way. He can fuck her well, he's calibrated, he knows what she wants, he knows when to back off, he knows when to put pressure, he makes her feel something, positive emotions. He can make her feel positive pressure versus negative pressure. Grounded posture, same as, as strong. Okay, if you want to watch me use the principles that I just explained on the street with real women, you can watch this video right here where I'm trying to get a Russian girl's number on the streets of Munich.